everybody? It's your boy, this month's nigga head in the house coming with a very special video. Before we get started, please hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share. Hit that little bell on the front of my uh, YouTube channel page so you know when all my videos drop. I will be doing a giveaway once I get to 3,000 subs, a very big giveaway. So make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and share. It's, I'll give details on that on later vid, but this vid is going to be really quick. I'm not going to edit it. It's just uh, a vid that I had to do. So as many of you know, yesterday the hip hop world received news that one of the legends of hip hop and my favorite hip hop group, Five Dog, AKA Malik Taylor, died. Um, now they're saying it was complications due to, possible complications due to his type one diabetes he developed back in 1990. He had a kidney transplant, I believe in 06. But Five Dog was my favorite of the group. Believe it or not, even more than Q-Tip. And as any of you know, A Tribe Called Quest is my all-time favorite hip-hop group. You hear the song in the background, that's Electric Relaxation. That's been my theme song for almost a year now. So I was super, super saddened to get that this morning. I mean, I'm sorry, yesterday morning, get that information. And you know, a whole bunch of people were saying they were sad. Most of them probably don't even know any songs by Tribe except for Scenario, but that's another story so I just wanted to make a vid because to me he was a, a legend in this game Tribe Called Quest is a legendary group I never got the chance to see him perform and now I never will at least with the full trio even though there were a couple auxiliary members here and there like Jerobi and then Consequence but I don't really count them but um, it, I was really messed up because I grew up on that so I just want to give a story and then I'll show this, uh, some sneakers in relation to it. So pardon me. I said it was going to be short, but it might be a little bit long. But basically, the, the day I fell in, uh, in love with Tribe Called Quest was 1993. Every summer we would go to my aunt and uncle's place in Virginia, spend the whole summer there. And my uncle had two, C, uh, two uh, tapes two cassette tapes that I listened to every day, multiple times for that summer. One is Heavy D, Peaceful Journey, again, big uh, rest in peace, Heavy D. And two was Tribe Called Quest, Midnight Marauders, which is my favorite album of the tribe. That album blew me away. That's what really made me fall in love with hip hop. I was always in tune with it, but after listening to those two albums, that's when I started to go back listen to older 80s and 90s hip-hop and that's when i really fell in love with it 93 i was what 12 11 12 years old and i would literally listen to those cd i'm sorry to those tapes over and over and over all day every day for that whole summer in 93. so tribe called quest is a huge influence in my love of hip-hop music and culture i have all their albums I have their anthology, I have Five Dog solo work, I have Q-Tip solo work, I have everything by Tribe. So everybody that knows me knows I am the biggest Tribe fan. So last year I did a video, and I'll leave a link here so you can see it, a video of some Nike IDs I made paying tribute to a Tribe Called Quest. I'm going to show them to y'all right now, um, just in case you, know, you don't want to see the video. Um, but these three kicks right here were all based on albums and their album covers. So as I show them to you, I'll put the album covers up here as well so you could see it. So this first one here was the Air Max one. Favorite Nike Air Max silhouette, by the way. This was for Beats, Rhyme, and Life, which was their third album. No, fourth album. So um, this one was this one came out in the mid-90s. It had tracks like Phony Rappers, which I love, Stressed Out, which I love. But uh, it's it it's it's uh, represents the the cover of that album, and you can see it here the similarities. I have Beats Rhyme and Life on the back here. On the other pair, it just has a TCQ. All of them do. Um, well, actually, just that pair has a TCQ, and then it has Beats Rhyme and Life because I couldn't fit all the words. But this was this Air Max one that I made. You know, it had uh, leather, leather, suede gum bottom super dope as you can see i've worn these quite a few times even though it's hard to see with the gum bottom but this was for beach rhymes in life the second pair were a pair of kd7s at the time and this was um 
for low end theory. So this is the KD7 low end theories that I made. Again, you could see the similarities in the album cover there. On the inner, I had AT on here and then CQ on the other pair. And then on the tongue, I had uh, theory here and then the other pair had low end. But this too, again, I've worn this quite a few times. So I've gotten plenty of wears out of these. And a lot of people turned, these kicks actually turned a lot of people's heads. But again, it's for Low End Theory, which was one of their albums that really pushed them towards that. Because this had like, you know, uh, Scenario, which everybody knows. The remix, which everybody knows. This was the album that it came from. But this is uh, my second pair. Now the third pair, which most people say is the most heat pair that I had, were the Kobe 9 Elite Lows. These were the Midnight Marauder pair. So I had Marauder there, Midnight on the other pair. Super, super dope. Again, I wear <laughs> I wear these kicks often. Um, I do wish I went up half a size in this and the KD8s because these run really narrow. I'm sorry, the KD7s, but these were super dope. Paying a tribute again to Midnight Marauders, which is the most influential album to me. My top three. I have a couple other albums that kind of come up, but this is always going to be the number one album when it comes to me and my falling in love with hip hop. So yeah, this was really dope silhouette. I just figured I'd show these again, again, paying tribute to A Tribe Called Quest and to show how much Five Dog, Q-Tip, Alicia Muhammad meant to me and growing up and helped to mold me in terms of my love of hip hop, real hip hop, none of this trap nonsense that's out now. But yeah, I'm, I truly, truly am going to miss them and I regret not being able to see them perform um, live because that was always a dream of mine. But yeah, that's it, folks. I just thought I'd share that little story. Um, and let me know down below how you feel. If you're a real hip hop, I'm sorry, a real Tribe fan or not, just let me know how you feel. Let me know if you have any of the albums. Let me know, you know, what's your favorite. Better yet, do this. Let me know your favorite bar from any Tribe Called Quest song. It could be any bar, any, it could be a hook, it could be whatever. Let me know down below. And again, stay tuned. Once I hit 3,000, the giveaway video will be uploaded. And with that being said, it's your boy, the smart sneakerhead, and a brother is out. Peace.